Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, uh, colleagues, good morning. My statement today, Mr. Speaker, will focus on three major health threats which are being monitored by the Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs. Actions to mitigate the negative health impacts of the threats continue in some areas, and new measures have been initiated to prepare for a new emerging threat. The three areas of concern are monkeypox, dengue, and the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Monkeypox. There has been a global outbreak of monkeypox, and the Ministry of Health has increased surveillance and measures have been put in place to manage the disease if it is detected in St. Lucia. I repeat, if it is detected in St. Lucia. It is of concern that most of the confirmed cases reported travel history to countries in Europe and North America. The risk is presently assessed as moderate by the World Health Organization, as this is the first time that many monkeypox cases and clusters are reported concurrently in non-endemic and endemic countries at the same time. St. Lucia has not recorded any cases of monkeypox to date, but we are preparing to manage cases in our country just in case this happens. Mr. Speaker, the signs and symptoms in the early stages are similar to the cold and flu. They also include rash, fever, enlarged lymph nodes, back pain, and muscle pain. Testing for monkeypox in the region is facilitated through the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CAFA. Patients with monkeypox are given symptomatic treatment for fever and for pain. Nutrition and rehydration are particularly important. Some patients may develop severe and life-threatening complications. The Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs has put the following in place. Public education and sensitization. Healthcare worker training and sensitization. A surveillance system has been put in place. Testing capacity with the Caribbean Public Health Agency and working on the establishment of in-country testing at the Ezra Long Laboratory at the Owen King European Union Hospital. The establishment of an isolation and treatment ward at the Respiratory, Hosp Respiratory Hospital, what we used to call Victoria Hospital. Regular consultations with regional and international public health agencies. The Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs will continue our strengthening of the various levels of care to manage any monkeypox cases if detected in St. Lucia. We continue to advise all St. Lucians to be very vigilant. Two, COVID-19. The government of St. Lucia continues to implement officially a phased reopening of the country. Most social activities are being held with guidelines from our public health officials and the COVID-19 Management Center, which are considered by cabinet. The government will continue to work with all as we operate as close to normal as possible, considering the serious impacts of COVID-19. We urge all St. Lucians to continue to be vigilant as many attend social events and family gatherings. The management of COVID-19 has been successfully integrated into the regular health programs of the country. We are presently managing the sixth wave where a total of 3,464 cases have been diagnosed at an average of 62 cases per day for the period April 18th to June 13th, 2022. The highest number of cases are from Grosile, Babuno, Denry, and VA4. Tourists account for 5% of the cases in the past week. Hospitalization, however, has remained below 20, below 20 individuals at the respiratory hospital. We are noting less severe and critical cases at this time. So hospitalizations are very low, 20, below 20, 
and we are noting less severe and critical cases. We have been able to successfully help keep school open fully while we manage cases and facilitate the development of sporting activities. The other sectors are practically back to normal in terms of their functioning. The public is, however, guided to continue to use face masks in public to ensure hand washing and proper general sanitization. Vaccines are still available at all the wellness centers. And so I remind you to get vaccinated and get boosted. Three, dengue fever. Mr. Speaker, the rainy season has started. And this season traditionally coincides with increases in vector-borne diseases such as dengue fever and leptospirosis. The Ministry of Health is closely monitoring the mosquito indices in the various communities and notes high levels from May 2022. As such, we have commenced activities to reduce and prevent an outbreak of dengue fever. These activities include the official launch of, dengue, of the dengue fever campaign on May 23rd under the theme, A Clean Community Starts With Me, and some Anu De Tui Vemin Pupli Bosanti. Educational motorcades around the island, the high-risk communities were targeted for educational activities, and sample side, rodenti sides, also shared with the necessary demonstration activities. We are visiting community and also households. We, are, we have begun fogging operations from April of this year. Public education using various media and other activities will include school exhibitions and airing of public announcements and so forth. The public, Mr. Speaker, is reminded to review their household and community and communities for mosquito and rodent breeding grounds. The use of mosquito nets is also advised. And I would like to implore all parliamentary representatives to join with and support the Environmental Health Department by leading the various cleanup campaigns and other initiatives within their communities. Together, we can reduce the impact of those vector-borne diseases by all playing our part and keeping the community clean. I wish, Mr. Speaker, to speak to monkeypox in Creole. The other areas are well known, and I wish this new area, to, I wish to explain to the people of St. Lucia the threat of monkeypox. Lania maladi nef ki nukakuye alangle monkeypox. Evek monkeypox sala, se akalte maladi ki nukawe a difoa pei ek. C'est la première fois que l'Organisation Santé Mondiale a eu autant de cas de monkeypox à différents pays en cette ici. Nous avons dit en cette ici, nous ne pouvons pas pièces de monkeypox avec le ministre de la Santé et avec l'autre organisation qui a gardé la situation pour garder qui manière, si nous avons monkeypox, qui manière nous avons amélioré la situation. Pour nous faire test de monkeypox, Nous ne pouvons voir n'importe quel nous joint qui nous peut-être quoi c'est monkeypox. Nous ne pouvons voir pour organisation nous qu'à quoi ça c'est organisation Kawaib qui a gardé sa fête santé à toute Kawaib là. Si à mon ni monkeypox nous qu'à quoi ça qui a été fait mon a qu'à ni un chai la fièvre peut-être la qu'à ni bouton à les corps mon a Lani a bagay, yo ka kuye lymph nodes ki yo ka jwenn a ba bazou ou be a a a a ba boaw avec peut-être sa ka yon fle avec fòm mal ou ka ni mal do avec a chay kote difòran kote anko ou ka fòm mal si ou santi pièce se bagay sa la i important pou ale wè dokte paske lani a monkeypox ka kouyi menm si nou pa ka jwenn an set lisi Nous ne savons pas peut-être si nous avons eu parce que à ces places-là que nous avons eu monkeypox, c'est à ces mêmes places-là que nous avons eu touristes, Europe avec Amérique et ces places-là. Qu'est-ce que le ministre a fait Le ministre a 
mettez un chat éducation dehors à les affaires mon qui pox là nous a commencé un tournement à les mon qui travaille en santé avec aussi nous travaille avec euh, organisation santé en Kawaii Blanc nous avons créé CAFRA avec un Ezra Long la lab on a lab nous même en cette ici nous avons regardé qui manière nous a fait système nous primaire pour nous tester si nous n'y en cas monkeypox aussi nous a mettez en chambre à uh, Victoria l'hôpital là pour si nous n'y monkeypox pour nous faire ça nous avons créé isolation ça veut dire si nous jouons en cas monkeypox nous avons pour demander ces mouna ou bien mouna pour être par quoi peut-être pour yon des jours parce que monkeypox là c'est un malade qui ça sauter sortir un yon moun pour aller à l'autre à l'autre moun aussi nous avons travaillé avec l'organisation mondiale avec l'organisation en Kawaïbla. Nous avons continué, docteur avec nous, avec tout le monde qui a continué à garder les affaires là, avec nous avons dit tout le monde qui ici, pour prendre précaution sur une pièce, c'est sur une pièce, c'est bagaille ça là, allez, docteur. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.